Morning, Lisa. Good morning, Dr. Kelts. How are you today? I'm wonderful. How are you? It's a spectacular day, it and uh, to be in the live category is always good, above mm -hmm. the ground and under the weather. Absolutely. Weather above, mm -hmm. ground below. And uh, we're here to share and help people from around the world, making fertility more affordable and accessible for everyone and turning no one away. Absolutely. No matter your BMI, the number of failed cycles, mm -hmm. your ovarian reserve, and we're always looking for alternatives yeah. and new cutting edge technology and treatments mm -hmm. to help our clients in their quest to build a family. Absolutely. We have so many wonderful success stories of clients who thought they weren't candidates for any treatment. They said, well, my OB said that's just the end of the road, or maybe another physician said, you know, you really don't have great success rates, let's stop. And they come to us and we really great, really have some great success stories with some wonderful hope and opportunity. We've seen so many that have failed, 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 succeed, mm -hmm. failed, 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 succeed, yes. and turned away from others. We're not saying in any way we're better than others. I think the key mm -hmm. here is that we're open to giving yes. everyone another chance and changing it up. Absolutely. That is really the key. And, you know, I've been really crazy mm -hmm. on fatty, fertile foods mm -hmm. first, and that's really been the biggest change. Because simply by changing what you put in your mouth and going ketogenic, mm -hmm. we're seeing so many pregnancies from that. And if you check out Maria Emmerich's book on ketogenic yes. adaptation, I'm amazed. And mm -hmm. you will too uh, if you simply just check it out. And, you know, it's like less expensive than a drug and the Absolutely. risks are far less. I say you got to give it a try. Absolutely. Well, we also have our webinar coming up next week, um, a fantastic webinar, great Q&A session, and we have some questions rolling in ahead of time. Um, one client was wondering what our treatments are and what our testing protocol is for natural killer cells. She seems to have had a, a few miscarriages and maybe it seems to respond um, with her immune system to pregnancy, uh, maybe have some hives and She's wondering about that. Well, well, the body is um, is uh, just uh, 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 ripe with our immune mm -hmm. system going all over the place, and I think that it keeps us alive and yes. it actually kills us, and we're having all of our troubles because mm -hmm. of the immune system. But our understanding of it, how to test it and how to treat it, has really been been misled, I mm -hmm. believe. Um, I one is I think that the testing is not so easy. Uh, NK cells, uh, cytokines, TH1, TH2 levels, um, looking at, at uh, C-reactive proteins, but I believe it's really a clinical diagnosis. If, if you're having a problem with infertility or miscarriage or failed implantation, you have an immune problem. And the best way to approach it is first with your food and diet plan. And then we've been finding that things like low-dose steroids, mm -hmm. Um, Lovenox, heparin, aspirin, because ultimately the, the, the final phase of the immune dysfunction has a thrombotic effect, which, which causes the blood flow to those small microvessels to be cut off and subsequently nutrition to be cut off. And so it's, it's a story we tell. There is some evidence to support that. Um, testing in K's, there's a whole host of other tests that can be done, but my personal bias, it's clinical, and we all have it in one way or another. Mm -hmm. The challenge is many people get pregnant and deliver a baby without the treatment, yes. but I definitely know there are many that by getting treatments like Prograf, mm -hmm. like Nuprogen, like IVIG and intralipids, higher dose prednisone, there are so many things out there we're using today mm -hmm. uh, that we believe are helpful. We've been doing much more laparoscopy, yes. hysteroscopy, looking for endometriosis. And a recent uh, article in ASRM, our journal Fertility and Sterility, showed that, that uh, endometriosis mm -hmm. is simply a silent sign and symptom of an immune problem. Mm -hmm. And it causes inflammation in the perineal cavity, which affects egg and sperm and embryo. Yes function. And my philosophy and what I can tell is that 70 to 80 percent of our inflammation is caused from our gut mm -hmm. and what we put into it and and it affects our entire body and especially our reproductive organs. Very interesting. So there's absolutely a lot of hope. There's a lot that our clients can do and I think that's one of the most empowering things about this shift towards focus on diet 
And the alternative options that we have is because it's something that our clients can work at every day. Absolutely. And, you know, it's interesting is that because most of us in our field don't believe this stuff Mm -hmm. because if you try to randomize studies to find the answer, it's not easy. And and I always say we're not treating a population. We're treating an individual. Mm -hmm. Recently, we've been sending patients to the Markham Center in in, uh, Toronto area Mm -hmm. for LIT therapy. Now, it's not legal in the United States. And... My my belief in, is that the immune system has some interactions mm-hmm. here, and we've seen some clients conceive and deliver a baby without IVF. Mm-hmm. So remember, when we're talking fertility treatments, we're talking from how do Everything. we heal the body mm-hmm. through yoga, meditation, acupuncture, slowing it down, mm-hmm. listening to really great positive things, and and then looking at, well, what are the Western treatments that we can mm-hmm. utilize that are high tech yes. and we're seeing so much success by simply looking at the immune system more diligently. So I think those are kind of the and the basics of what we're doing today. Mm-hmm. We're always looking for change. We've been working with Dr. Jeff Braverman uh, with the, with the, uh, with the uh, uh, Beer Institute mm-hmm. and now with the uh, Markham Institute and we're, we're looking for our clients input. Yes. Recently, Absolutely. actually, one of our clients shared LDN, mm-hmm. low dose naltrexone. Very interesting science on that. I really recommend mm-hmm. people look at that, and we've seen a tremendous amount of success mm-hmm. with that. That's fantastic, and we're so welcome and positive to our clients and to the information, and also to the information that you share with our clients. It's a wonderful exchange, and it's a wonderful knowledge base that we have to work with. And so we so appreciate your openness with what's going on with the center and your thoughts and how the technology is changing, how our approaches are changing. Well, we're, we're open to change mm-hmm. because what we learned 30 years ago in our medical training and fellowships, you know, if we're stuck in that, uh, yes. you know, nothing changes. And I always say, do something, read something, look at something you don't believe in, mm-hmm. and you might find something really surprising and amazing. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for sharing this wonderful information. And we also had another question on um, frozen embryo transfers. Oh, yes. If we've had any changes in our approach to frozen embryo transfers to increase those success rates and what your thoughts on that are. Well, well first of all, you must be careful on CDC and SART numbers mm-hmm. because recent articles are showing that up to 50% of the cycle outcomes are missing mm. in the top 13 centers in the United States. Not that anyone is purposely removing these, but because of embryo banking and PGS, they're, they're actually... Um, uh, many clients, many patients are not even getting a transfer, mm-hmm. so their embryos are never given a chance to become yes. a baby. So it makes the the outcomes look better, mm-hmm. but if you really whittled it down to who walks in the door of a clinic, mm-hmm. and then besides IVF, what else are they getting? Yes. So absolutely, our frozen embryo transfers have improved significantly, but a lot of it is because we're freezing in that fresh cycle, mm-hmm. so now we're holding the very best embryos, and, and we're doing both cleavage embryo freezing and blast freezing because one way is not the way for everyone. Yes. And there's a lot of rhetoric out there and opinions that try to say, well, this is the right way. And I'm going to say that our approach is recognizing and finding the way for the individual Absolutely. in this whole process. We've also been incorporating Neuprogen and HCG washes, hysteroscopy mm-hmm. with uh, embryo scratch, um, although there were some randomized studies that showed it didn't improve outcomes, my suspicion is that there's some evidence that it does, but once again, the problem is, is how do you prove it? Mm-hmm. And I say, well, if what you're doing isn't working, isn't it time we do something yeah. different? Um, and then our protocols for our frozens, we're dealing with both natural stimulation, mm-hmm. we're adding we're adding our 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 enhancement protocols, which include weekly interlipids. Mm-hmm. It includes ProGraph or Neuprogen and HCG. And so there's a lot of support. And one of the most important things is, I call it the baby diet. Mm-hmm. Bacon, eggs, butter, beef, very important. Mm-hmm. And so it reduces inflammation. It helps everyone out. And that is like the primary thing, fatty, fertile foods first. And, and weekly monitoring mm-hmm. through 14 weeks or more 
And the thyroid needs to be watched very, very carefully. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, thank you so much again for sharing this information. I know our clients love the updates. They love to know what's going on in our center and what our plans are and what they can do to increase their chances of conceiving. This is all fantastic information for them. Well, when's our webinar? Uh, Tuesday, April 26th at 6 p.m. And so it's going to be a live event. Yes. But we're going to encourage people to send in their questions Absolutely. ahead of time uh, to, where do we send it? Um, directly to me, uh, Lisa Stack at C L Stack at CMIFertility.com, or you can find me in the patient portal. And um, you can also post them to our Facebook page. And we're open to all ideas. Absolutely. And I've learned so much from uh, many expert physicians in the world and our patients who have come up with ideas mm -hmm. that I'm like, well, we're open to that. And then that's how we've learned in so many ways. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we're absolutely looking forward to learning from you as the questions roll in and from our webinar next week. Well, we well. look forward to this. Thank you. And thank you, everyone. God bless.